Oh, hey. You've kind of walked into chaos. Why do I have a ring light out, you ask? Well, I was just filming a video for a billion hours, and it's one of those days where I just feel like I haven't done anything. I, I'm proud of it. I think it's gonna be a good video. It feels chaotic right now, but I think it's gonna come together and be a good video, but I just spent the entire day filming this video. And I was like, oh, now I need to start my vlog. I'll use the ring light, but it just kind of feels like I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. It's kind of creeping me out. So maybe we don't use this. Hi everyone and welcome to the vlog. We are starting my vlog a little unconventionally today. Usually I feel like I start in the morning, we make our way through the day, but I felt like being a little crazy and starting it on a Thursday night, cause why not? I think we're gonna do kind of like a weekend in my life kind of situation, but I'm going to a Knicks game tonight and I thought I would start it tonight because it's kind of fun. You know me, huge basketball fan. No, I am. I think a basketball game is fun. My friend works at Madison Square Garden and sometimes she gets tickets to certain events. So I'm really excited to go. I love going to Madison Square Garden and seeing a show or seeing a game. I have not been in a few months, so I am very excited for that. So welcome in, welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, my name's Alexis, I'm 25. I live in New York City. I don't have anything too crazy going on this weekend. I'm gonna dye my hair tomorrow um, because my roots are a little grown out. I have a few parties to go to this weekend and few dance classes, but really nothing, nothing super insane. So I thought it'd be fun to take you along. So I am going to upload the footage that I just filmed for five hours. Must be a new record. I have never filmed a video that long. Here's my outfit. I'm wearing my only Knicks shirt that I have <laughs> with jeans and my chunky white sneakers. I'm gonna head to the subway and meet my friends and go to the Knicks game. Let's go. so tired that was kind of like a crazy close game recently I've been kind of into sports which I never really was in the past but I feel like I just watched a football game the other day I was really into and then the basketball game I've always found basketball more interesting than most other sports and in college I was on the dance team so I had to go to the football games and the basketball games and I danced at them and cheered at them I was feeling a lot of pride for the Knicks and the game was so close the entire time. And then they, I thought won in the last few seconds, but then there was five seconds left. And I was like, oh, the game's practically over. And then it was so close and so stressful. Um, but we won, it was really close, we won. We were in the VIP suite, which I always love because I'm able to get delicious food. But yeah, it was fun. I, I always love going to Madison Square Garden. It's such a good time there. So I'm just always thankful to have the opportunity to go. All right, well, I'm gonna get ready for bed. Tomorrow I am getting my hair dyed. I am still in fact wearing my Christmas pajamas. They're cozy. Should I put your Christmas jammies on? Good morning. I can't even like get out my camera right now. My head hurts so bad i have like one of the worst migraines that i've had in months and it's not even from drinking or anything i had like three sips of a vodka soda last night a few days ago it was in the 50s and then today it's in the 20s and i think my brain and my body can't keep up with the temperature change it's like 10 30 right now i'm gonna go to the gym because i think if i i took some ibuprofen and i ate a granola bar so I think if I just go to the gym and I start moving, I think that's gonna help. But right now I'm like, oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. Okay. Bennett, what are you? 
What are you doing? Okay, I will say I am feeling revived right now. I took a shower, I made a coffee, I ate a grilled cheese and tomato soup, and I have to leave right this second to get to my hair appointment, but we're dyeing my hair blonde, baby. So, I mean, it already is blonde, but these roots. hours later I'm finally done it is like negative temperatures and I'll talk to you when I get home all right here's the hair it took six hours to get this done um, I mean it looks incredible but I don't know when I get my hair done it's just such a long process but I mean it's such a nice blonde it's a really nice color I love my hair lady so I've somehow walked out into like a polar vortex it's been so warm in New York and all of a sudden, it's not. When I was walking to get my hair done, it was like 30 degrees, kind of cold, but not too cold. When I left, the winds are 20 miles per hour. It's like 15 degrees, but it feels like it's negative five. And it was so, like the wind was so unbearable going home. I like couldn't even, I could barely even walk. I was like, I'm gonna have to go inside somewhere and wait a minute. My migraine came back and my head hurt so bad. I was supposed to meet my friends for dinner and I was supposed to meet them at 6.15, but I was at the hair place until 6.30 because it took six hours. My migraine finally went away, but then around hour like three or four of getting my hair done, it came back and it just hurt so bad and I feel like shaky. I feel hungry. I feel weak. This sounds so dramatic because it's like all I did today was get my hair done, but I think it's just because I woke up feeling so horrible. Anyways, so the migraine with feeling very shaky with it being freezing, I I can't meet my friends. And it was a very like impromptu thing. We were just gonna like go get dinner tonight and they're already all there. It's not like they're waiting on me or anything, like they all win. So I it's no big deal, but I am just I am just unwell. So I just ate some carrots and hummus to like try to recover a little bit. I ordered Thai food, it's on its way. But it's freezing in here because I haven't had my main heat on pretty much all winter because I think it gets super hot in here and I always have heat on in the kitchen. But I just tried to turn it on and it started like spitting water, going kind of crazy, uh, making very loud rattling noises and now I'm a little concerned because I need the heat on. Maybe it's just something I have to wait out because it's been off for so long and it just needs to kind of like work itself out. So I'm going to try turning it on again. <sighs> Got my Thai food. Oh, them giving me three sets of forks as if there's three different meals in here, which there is, but they're all for me. I got red curry, Tom Ka soup, because that just kind of sounded good. And I got Pad CU, which I recently have discovered that I like. I don't know why I ordered three meals. I'm so hungry. My head hurts so bad. And honestly, I'll probably eat some of this tomorrow too. So just thought I'd go crazy and get a ton of Thai food. I bet you can't guess what I'm about to do. Um, I'm gonna watch Gilmore Girls. I'm on the last season. I've been flying through Gilmore Girls. I really did not like it in the first few seasons and around season three, I love it. It's getting colder and colder by the minute. So I feel like I'm gonna have to figure out my heat. Um, I'm like pretty much fine under blankets. I was kind of worried about Bennett, but <laughs> he is snuggled up. I think he's fine. I made a Trader Joe's boba um because i was in the mood for that i really thought i was gonna go to sleep at like nine it's now like 10 30 and i'm more awake again i'm feeling a little better my headache's starting to go away it is just crazy this arctic front thing that's like coming to new york right now i thought today was going to be a really good day to vlog but i think it's actually kind of a boring day because i was just getting my hair done all day and i never made my bed i was so ill this morning i like i actually have a lot i need to clean up but I'm just gonna save that for tomorrow.
typing fingers of saying, Alexis, if you're so cold and it's negative temperatures, why'd you get a nice coffee? Because I wanted one, and I was really craving one, and it was worth it. Damn, I don't know why I just attacked you guys like that. Maybe no one was gonna say that. It's pretty cold in my apartment as well, because my heat was having an incident, but it's already getting warmer, and honestly, like, I think I'm fine in here. That it's fine. Last night I was so stressed that he was gonna be freezing. And he was fine, he was playing. He actually literally kept me up till 3 a.m. because he was just having the time of his life last night. Oh my gosh, it's just my ears. My ears are what gets so cold. Went to ballet class. I didn't wanna have my hair get all sweaty since it was like nicely done yesterday. So I did my best. I put it up with like clips and stuff to try to preserve it. So let's see if that worked. I'd say that's not too bad. I mean, the curls have fallen a little bit, but it's not awful. I can work with this. So my class usually is at 10.15, but I got moved to 9.30, which hypothetically is great. You know, it's like, it gets done at 11. I have my whole day. Like when I was at 10.15, I didn't get done until like 11.45, noon. So now this way I have like a whole extra hour, pretty much, of my day. And like my teacher was like, when it gets warm outside, like it's gonna be great, you can go to brunch. Hypothetically, that's great, but it's just so early. I, I've been struggling getting up before 9.30. I um, woke up at 9.05 and it was a photo finish. I took a cab there, but it was fine. It was fate. I walked out, there was a cab right on my street. The weather said it felt like negative eight and I was running super late. So it was a win-win-win situation but I'll, I'll give it to myself it's fine that i took a cab this morning because it was just so cold it's on the agenda for today i feel revived from yesterday yesterday i felt so ill pretty much all of my friends aren't in the city during the day today or working i think i'm just going to spend the day in and edit a video that video on thursday i kept talking about that took me like five hours to film that's gonna be like a monster to edit so i'm gonna start working on that and then tonight i have two parties to go to. So if you hear that noise, New York heaters are just a blast. Um, it, it got very cold in here and I was like, you know what? It's very loud. And the liquid started shooting out again for a while and now it's on the ceiling. This is one of the reasons I don't turn on my heat often because this happens. And now there's brown liquid like all the way up to my ceiling that I'm trying to wipe down that shot out of it. The water has stopped shooting out though. Okay, I gotta stop filming. I can't take this. I had to turn it off. That noise was going on for far too long. That's the fun part of New York heaters is that you just never know what noise they're gonna make, when, why, what they're gonna shoot out of them. The brown liquid shot out for a few minutes and it was on my ceiling. I've pretty much wiped it down. So I, I've had it on for like 10 minutes. It's a little warmer in here now. I've turned it off. So I guess when I get freezing again, I'll just turn it on for a second. I did turn my heat on a few weeks ago and it was silent, like there was nothing going on. So I think it just kind of depends. I did wear this outfit last night, but this is just my official cozy day outfit. And I'm wearing cozy socks with my slippers. Um, okay, I just made lunch. I'm gonna eat that and upload the rest of my footage that I need to edit. And then after I'm done with my lunch, I'm gonna start editing. I have a peanut butter and jelly, carrots, a cheese stick, and some hummus. I really want my leftover Thai food from last night, but I don't really have anything for dinner. So I feel like I should save that to eat later for dinner. So we're just gonna stick with the basics. Okay. Okay, I think I just had to let the heater run for a little bit because it's not shooting dirty water out anymore. It's just like cold for being inside. Like it feels like when you're at like the zoo or something like that and it's really cold and then you go to the indoor part but it's not really inside but it is and it's like warmer but it's still kind of cold. Hmm. Bennett is tucked into his bed right now like an angel. 
I've been working on editing a little bit and watching a little bit of TV, naturally. Um, it's only four, but I was kind of hungry and I'm still very cold. Even though the heat is not working, it's still just like cold. So I um, heated up my curry from last night, which is spicy and hot. So I think that's gonna warm me up. I love a Saturday where I don't have to do anything. I mean, I am going somewhere tonight. I did go somewhere this morning, but I like a day inside, especially when it's winter and it's freezing and you're just doing productive things inside. Um, I have two parties tonight. Did I already say that? One is a housewarming, one is a birthday. Um, it's eight o'clock and I'm still looking like this. I did a little bit of editing and then I watched a lot of Gilmore Girls. I really, I just need to finish Gilmore Girls because now I'm like addicted. I can't, I physically can't stop watching it. I feel like you probably can't hear. It's like so chaotic right now in my apartment. My neighbor below me is watching a movie on like volume of 1000. If you hear that. And then um, my upstairs neighbor's dog is barking really loud. It's just very chaotic right now. And Bennett is, Bennett, Bennett's in the shower. So, so there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm currently getting ready. I have never worn one of these like skincare headband things that keeps your hair out of your face. And yesterday I was like, oh, my hair's so nice. I don't want to mess it up. I wish there was a way that I could wash my face and everything without getting my hair wet at all. And then I realized this is what it's for. And I was sent this forever ago and I've never used it. So we're using it. Okay, I am all ready. Did my hair, did my makeup. A slight change of plans. I'm gonna go to my birthday party first because my friend who I'm going to the second party with isn't off of work yet, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna play by ear. I'm just wearing a white turtleneck and jeans and sneakers. So, nothing too fancy. Um, but I guess I'm gonna go. I've really sat inside all day. I'm like, I can't believe I'm finally leaving and it's like nine something. Me and all my toilet paper and paper towels. <laughs> My ears are ringing. It's like one of those things where I didn't realize the music was so loud until I left. It's like midnight, it's not too late. I had a great time, danced the night away, um, and now I'm gonna get ready for bed. I might make a little snack too, cause I'm a little bit hungry. And just like that, it's normal temperatures again. Like it's gonna be in the 40s today. So it's not, freezing anymore. I mean, it's cold, obviously. Like I'm putting on a big sweatshirt right now, but it's not, I don't know. I think it was just like a weird Arctic front that came through. It was crazy how I could barely get anything done yesterday. Like I was so cold. <laughs> this morning, it is a beautiful Sunday. The sun is shining. That's the thing. The sun's been like shining in for the past five days. It's been very rare. I feel like usually it's super gloomy. It's 1130. I'm gonna have some breakfast. I'm gonna work on editing a little bit and do some YouTube related things. And then I'm gonna go to a dance class and then I'm gonna come home and probably continue to work on YouTube related stuff. I, I was contemplating going grocery shopping today, but I kind of hate going on Saturdays and Sundays because it's so crowded. Everything's picked over. Grocery shopping in New York is kind of like an Olympic sport sometimes. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Oh, yeah, I forgot I ordered something on Amazon. Did I just say hello? Super rude. I'm gonna like go back and listen to that and be like, why did I sound so mean? You wanna say good morning? Oh, but ever since I don't have my job anymore, I'm like, wait, I can just go grocery shopping on a Monday or a Tuesday. I'm gonna pour myself some coffee, find something for breakfast. I also have to take out the trash at some point. Um, super exciting stuff. I just, I really wanted to hang out with you guys this weekend. Sorry it's not as crazy. And like last night when I left, like I literally think I got two clips. Guys, I accidentally stole the glasses from the dentist or the orthodontist, I guess. I have Invisalign and I went the other day. I need to like call them and bring them back. I didn't mean to steal them. I don't even know how they ended up in my bag. I decided since it's like 11.30 to just do a little brunch situation. So I don't know why I'm on my fifth grader lunch kick, but I made a peanut butter and jelly with a cheese stick and then some carrots and hummus. I think I just kind of am missing like simple like lunches like that. I'm just, I need meal ideas and recipes. I'm so sick of coming up with stuff. Start your channel and more importantly, I've gotten a lot of 
Okay, I'm dressed for class. Gonna try to take the bus. Last week, I epically failed at taking the bus and I had to like sprint to the subway because I missed the bus. It was like a whole thing. So I will not miss it this week. When I got my hair done, I had her trim face framers. And this is like, these pieces go down my mouth. This is the shortest my face framers have been in a while. I was really tempted to cut curtain bangs. I don't know, I'm going through a crisis with my hair again. I got it blonde again because I do really like it blonde, but every once in a while I'm like, do I go back to brown? Like at the very beginning of 2020, my hair was my natural brown, like super dark and I had bangs. I feel like I never really lived that era for myself. It's a big decision because it took me three years to get my hair to this color. I don't know, I think my blonde phase, I still have a little bit, a little bit more time with it. Let's go to class. I decided to take the bus and promptly as soon as I got on it, it got super delayed and kept stopping a ton and um, I got off the bus right when my class was starting. I know the teacher so it's not like, it wasn't that, I, I ran in three minutes late and I was feeling really bad about that but I know the teacher and like he didn't care so it was fine. And then I went to put on my shoes when we went to the combination, I went to put on my heels and I have boot heels that have like a, what is it, the tongue, like the tongue of my shoe ripped out it like fully ripped out and my shoe broke and so i tried just wearing my shoe without the tongue but that wasn't really it it just felt really weird so i ended up just dancing barefoot which was fine but <laughs> i don't know but then it was actually a really great class like it was an amazing combination i felt so good about it i didn't film it or anything today so no video evidence but i was just like feeling myself i didn't want to like ruin any of my vibes with the video then i was going to go to the place where i got my shoes to see if they could fix it but it was closed today, so I guess that's a tomorrow problem. They're very expensive shoes. They're over $300, these heels. So ideally, I am hoping that it is not too expensive to just fix it, because I don't really want to buy a new pair. I did not budget that in this month. I was in a really good mood after my class, but now I'm feeling kind of sad. I don't know why. I guess that's just sad girl hours, I don't know. Just took my shower, and it's like the one day a year I'm wearing a robe. I've never worn robes or liked them. I just feel like I've never, I've always been too sweaty to have a robe on, but it's actually kind of cold right now. <laughs> so I put a robe on. Um, I ordered food, unfortunately. I said I was gonna make food, but nothing sounded good. I'm so hungry. I took a dance class and I walked. Granted, I did get a smoothie because I was like, oh, I'll get a smoothie since I'm gonna make dinner at home, but then I didn't have any food. So here's my game plan. Tonight, I'm gonna make a meal plan, go grocery shopping. Not that I don't usually grocery shop, but I'm gonna like actually cook all my meals this week and have a good plan. I feel like recently I keep saying I like am sick of cooking, I'm sick of making meals, but I think I'm gonna try to get inspired, go online, come up with some new recipes to make. So you nope, couldn't do it, couldn't do it. I'm already in my pajamas. I got this beautiful looking Cobb salad. No avocado, because I'm allergic. And I packed the chicken on the side. And then I got a side of mashed potatoes. Yum, yum, yum. 